exactly what I'm thinking. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. So, did she go away because you asked for her number? Or because there's a dead body outside, huh? The lieutenant opens his little notebook at the cover. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Thank you, he says. Mystery solved. Didn't go well. Oh my god. We, we didn't solve any mystery, did we? But it definitely didn't go well, right? I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Alright. I guess I like to be thorough, that's true. Everything has something to do with everything. Could also be true. Good for you. Was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. You're not doing nothing important. I don't even know why the hell you have a dead bird here sitting on the counter. And why you wouldn't give me a drink. Are you the bartender? I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three, get over it. Okay. So he's a bartender at three cafeterias. Right, where is the body? Behind this building there's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? He points to the west. First you exit through that. Then to your right you should see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franconigerian cavalry to fit through. Franco-Nigerian, Jesus. Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. So I guess it's big, right? That's what he wants to, to, to know. <laughs> you love how it takes an hour to leave the first building? <laughs> we've, we've already been playing for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're very very thorough so yeah and we actually haven't been to the kitchen at all and you know I, th I think we could spend a lot more time in here as well but he, he keeps pressing us you know to go and and cut down the dead guy from the tree so I guess that's what we're gonna do but he does know who killed him, right? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Uh, we could have pushed a little bit harder there, no? I guess we don't have enough skill points at, uh... What? Threatening? Intimidation? Persuasion? All right, though, we completed our task. We interviewed the cafeteria manager. We gained some experience. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Is it called? I mean, it, it does have the, the accent, right? So it should be real. I guess that's money. Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. He pronounces the R with a mock aristocratic accent. 
real. The IIR or interisolary real is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Right. Oh, I understand. You mean I owe you money. Wow, you're a genius. That's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now the accent is on a different letter. Here as well. There as well. But here it's on the E. But there's no accent at all. Huh. So it's real. I guess they don't know themselves, huh? How to call it? And how to write it? Alright, he points to the red ledger on the counter. What do I owe this place for? You're under arrest. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. I wonder what Kim Kitsuragi would say about that. Let's find out why I owe this place 130 real. Let's see. He dramatically turns a page in the ledger. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. And where's the rest of the, the, the 130? Another thing you've annihilated is half of the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of... Revertual. You you say it's revertual? Alright. Why, why is it spelled with an O then? That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still real money. Real money. Alright. You're lucky you haven't peeked into the, the room that, that I rented up there because it's kind of trashed as well but what exactly is money? what are you a philosopher? <laughs> no I'm just getting my bearings actually I might be what is money? tell me about the concept of money Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room or... 8 bottles of potent blend and 9 packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Interesting, where do I get it from? Oh, that's right, I could show him the coins. Proceed, but don't show him the coins. They're yours. Right. Let's ask another stupid question, though. Are you serious? From work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. He looks at Kim. I'm sorry, I don't think cops take bribes. Some do take recompense. The lieutenant is that serious. But only to survive. Oh my god. So yeah, we don't call it bribe. We call it recompensation. Why do I need it? For survival, to pay me. Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinez. And... It's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but it lets you be unhappy for a while longer. Is 
Damn, that sentence, huh? Right in the feels. Yo. He does say there's nowhere, nowhere else to stay in Martinez. I thought I am from here. Oh, this is just a district, right, Martinez? So I'm from the city of Revacho, but not from this district. That's why I'm staying at this hostel here. I get it, I get it. If you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us. Me too. That's why I need you to pay me. I'm not an asshole. You're right, you're right, you're right. I get it. What about the coins here? So this is money. These are the real that you're looking for. Count them and give them to him. That's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm now down to 90, right? But, 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 but. If I give him all the money I have, how the hell do I pay for my headache pills? We're back to Cora's advice, huh? We're back to stealing the headache pills from the sleeping worker. Ah, Kim coming in with the save. There's a shovel of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. That's cop for I haven't offered to pay, pay because I don't have any money either. Oh shit. Alright, he's not, he's not saving our ass here. What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Got it, got it, got it. So we have a couple of more hours. Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Chamrock, right? It's not that far away. No, 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 no. I don't have a home. <laughs> I don't remember where my home is. <laughs> Shit. I'll take my chances on the street. I'll see what I can do. You, you'll you get your money. Don't you worry. All right. We'll find someone that can uh, recompense me for doing some services. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. Creases line, line his forehead above the spectacles. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started now. Roger, roger, roger. That's right, man. I'm a police officer. I should get paid, right? Pay for damages. And what's what's going on here? Encyclopedia. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. That's right. That's right. We don't know. Do I even have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. That's right. You don't really know, do you? I don't. I have only a vague blackened image. A vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. That's true. Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street? The exact number on a building? <laughs> oh, the, other, the other option, man. I live in a dumpster, I don't care, fuck everything, hobo cop for life. No, 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 no. This is gonna give us another quest, right? We wanna track the way back. We wanna find our house. Thought gained. 
You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Yo, 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 something happened. Look, look, look. This is our thought cabinet. What on earth is that? Lonesome long way home. Alright. Temporary research bonus. Plus one encyclopedia. Factual memory returns. Research time 6 hours and 5 minutes. What does that mean? Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through courtyards, scaring little children. Go under the great raised motor track, the 881, until you reach Le Domaine Eminent in North Jamrock. The streets are frozen this time of year, caked with ice. Walk down Main to Perdition. There is a side alley there and your footprints in the mud. See? We know where we live. We do. I don't actually have to walk there, right? I can just let my brain do the thing. Solve it. Solve it, brain. It's only gonna take us six goddamn hours. I do hope it's in-game hours. I actually don't know what's faster. Because we've been playing for two and a half hours almost and it's only been one and a half hours in game all right journal we got some new stuff here oh you can speed it up in in game you can speed up the in-game time, alright. Thank you for that piece of info. Maybe we'll need that. Maybe we'll need that. Oh, well, right now it doesn't seem to do anything. Do we have... Something here. I, gu I guess we don't have another skill point or nothing. So. What do we do? I guess we're gonna go to the crime scene now, huh? Yo, there's something in there. <gasps> it's, it's money. I'm sure it's money. We might have to get this later, huh? Right, let's exit here. Let's exit. We're finally outside of the hostel. There we go. A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. Watch that. Now what's the sign? The street sign reads, fuck the police. Damn, NWA was here. Pigs go home. Alright, they really like us, huh? They really do. What can I help you with? I have some questions for you. Of course. What can I help you with? Directions? Nah. Who are you? Me, I'm just a gardener. Cool. What are you doing here? I'm working. 
No, it doesn't look like you're working. You're sitting on the chair for the last one hour you've been sitting on the chair. We've seen you when we were out on the balcony an hour ago. But okay, let, let's let's keep up this uh, charade. So what are you working on? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. She just she gestures over her shoulder. I've been trying to get some work done, but well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Don't worry, miss. We're here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Ooh, alright. And what about the, uh, fuck the police street signs? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. Why, though? Oh, she cranes her neck. Well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Yo, I, I wasn't accusing you. What about the other sign? I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't read it. Pig is a widely used... Yeah, thank you. No need to worry, the lieutenant steps in. We're not saying you did. Okay, well, I didn't. You did not really help us out there, did you? Since the street signs messed up. Okay, what do you need? Oh, we can ask lots of things. So the corpse. She points to the north. In the yard, right through the hole in the fence. Even all the way over here, there's a drop of death in the spring air. Yeah, he's been hanging there for seven days, right? Where am I? What do you mean? Yes, sir, this is Revachol. District of Martinez. She looks around, thinking what else to say. This intersection is called Roundabout North. <laughs> We're Roundabout North. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So what's north? There's the pier, the Capeside apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. What's to the east? The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A frit store, too. Damn, that's a lot of teas. Fritty -ti -ti store, huh? Alright, whatever that is. We're gonna check it out. Sooner or later. What's in the south? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast. But it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Yeah, what's on the other side? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and the fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. Sounds like a really nice city, no? What's west? She looks at the water squinting. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Alright. Thank you. We'll have to run. Ho, 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 ho. She wipes her brow with the canary yellow glove. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. It's a good gut feeling, huh? One more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure, keep them. I have another pair. She hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. Yo, that's nice. Thank you. So 
So we can actually wear these, no? Gloves. Damn, we're a real fashionista. Looking good. What on earth is that thing here? That is a weird looking vehicle, isn't it? Cupris Kinema, Kinema. Before you stands a moto carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the number 57. Damn, that's your vehicle. It's your police car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did say it's right outside. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from, from oblivion. The Cupris Kinema motor carriage. Um, is Kim gonna be mad if we get on the radio now and then go to the crime scene? In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-up toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel oils washes over you. Yo, we might actually need the toolbox, no? Pick up the radio. The frequency tableau lights up and the green button labeled prime line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Yeah, probably. You know, we need to report that our badge has gone missing. But how on earth are we supposed to tell her if we don't know our name or our badge number? Come in, dispatch. Come in. <laughs> Come in, Delta 10. This is Firewalker. Copy. Now let's keep it cool. Hi, Alice. This is the officer from the 41st precinct speaking. Nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice Demetri. Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. I wonder what Kim's default radio station is. Yo, we will check that out later, alright? Later. Could you connect me to the 41st precinct? I have something I need to report. Ah, Sylvie. We need to ask for Sylvie as well. Damn, what do we do? Let's go for Sylvie first. What is her number, officer? Kim, didn't guard give you Sylvie's number? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-2900. Received. Hold on, officer. This line has been disconnected. Let's patiently wait. Quite a lot of time has passed. We're still waiting. Officer, she finally returns. I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Malaika, right? 
Jesus.